Now to our race in Chicago series. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is perhaps best remembered for his work in the South. But did you know the civil rights leader actually lived here in Chicago for a brief time? In fact, it was on this day in 1966 that Dr. King moved into a North Lawndale apartment. He wanted to shine the spotlight on racial segregation and the push for better housing for African Americans. Leanne Trotter has a story. 55 years ago on this very spot, 1550 North Hamlin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. moved his family into the building that once stood here. They lived there for several months. Dr. King came to Chicago in 1966 uh, to uh, basically protest slum housing. To make this beautiful city that sits on the banks of Lake Michigan, the beautiful city of brotherhood, that it is called to be. For many months, Dr. King had been working with local civil rights leaders to help promote the Chicago Freedom Movement. They invited Dr. King and his family to move into that rundown apartment building to help raise awareness about African Americans' deplorable living conditions. Chicago uh, exemplified all the problems that we're facing uh, urban areas uh, across the North uh, in terms of racism and segregation. Chicago was arguably the most segregated city in the country at that time. Professor James Ralph is one of the editors of the Chicago Freedom Movement, Martin Luther King Jr. and Civil Rights Activism in the North. The book explains how Dr. King's visit was unwelcomed by some black political and church leaders working on behalf of Mayor Richard Daley's political machine. Professor Ralph says the mayor's tight reign led some to call Dr. King's 1966 Chicago visit unsuccessful. But Professor Ralph says King's visit actually helped nationalize the conversation about civil rights. Chicago Freedom Movement helped dramatize through marches in the summer of 1966 um, the um, real uh, segregation, the uh, dual housing market, uh, the fact that there were barriers to African-American access access to uh, housing across the metropolitan region. In July 1966, thousands of people packed Soldier Field to hear Dr. King speak, and later at City Hall. A month later, August 5th, Dr. King was marching through Marquette Park when white protesters started hitting the marchers with bottles and rocks. U.S. Ambassador and former U.S. Senator Carol Mosley Braun, who was a teenager at the time, distinctly remembers the moment Dr. King was hit by a rock as she was standing very close to him. When it happened, I remember my first reaction was to get mad. I wanted to pick up a rock and throw it back. But he didn't, he had this beatific look on his face. He just let it go, just wash over him. Mosley Braun says at that moment, she understood the power of nonviolence. And um, uh, took out his handkerchief and put it, held it to his head and, and, and just... Uh, continued to continue with the march. The building where Dr. King lived on Hamlin was damaged during rioting following his death. It was later torn down and the historic lot remained empty for many years until the Glendale Christian Development Corporation stepped in. We had a vision. And that's how the MLK Memorial District in North Lawndale came about. It's affordable apartments and an event space for community residents to enjoy. We said we want to build a building that Dr. King would have been honored to live in. Uh, uh, in North Lawndale, and that's exactly what we did. The Lawndale Christian Development Corporation has spent more than $100 million developing real estate in North Lawndale. This year, they plan to build affordable single-family homes there. For us, it's about equity, and it's about the racial wealth gap, and so how do, you know, black and brown folks have an opportunity uh, to gain equity and build wealth? And one key way to do that is home ownership. Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News. Such an important part of our history. Our thanks to Leanne for bringing it to us. Our Race in Chicago series continues online with an interview about teens and race. Our newest episode of The Path Forward, hosted by Leanne Trotter, is now available at NBCChicago.com or on the NBC Chicago app.